Hi everyone, welcome back to Gom's Tech Talk channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about dimensions in Business Central. What is dimension? Why should we use this? And I will show you how to create a dimension with a scenario. First of all, let us understand what is dimension. So think of dimension as a special labels. Okay, you are creating a special labels or a tags. Okay, it might be a tag, you can think about a label that help you organize and understand your business transaction better. Okay, imagine you are keeping track of your expenses and income for your small business. Instead of just looking of one big list of numbers, you want to break them down into a specific categories to see where your money is coming from and where it's going. This is where dimensions come in. So dimensions are like different categories you create. For example, you can create a dimension called department. Okay, you can create a dimension uh, of categories. Okay, uh, you can think about a department. Okay, so just to think about a department. Um, to separate expenses and income related to a different parts of a business like sales, okay, marketing or operations okay so you can create a dimensions called department uh, and under that you can make it as a sales marketing and operations within each category you can add a specific labels like dimension values these dimension values are like tags that you attach to your transactions so for the department dimension you might have dimension values like sales team marketing team operations team like that so when you record a transaction like a sales or an expense, you can attach these dimension values to it. For instance, when you make a sale, you can say that it's related to sales team. And when you pay for marketing services, you can associate with that the marketing team. Now, when you want to see how much money each department is making or spending, you can run reports using these dimensions. You can filter your financial data by these categories and see clear numbers for each department. This helps you understand which part of your business is doing well and where you might need to make improvements. So in simple terms, Dimensions in Business Central are like customizable labels that you stick on your financial transactions to sort and analyze them easily. They help you make sense of your money and make smarter business decisions. So uh, let us understand a dimension by creating it. Okay. So if you want to set up a dimension, like how to do that, I hope you all understand what is uh, actually dimension okay and we have various types of dimension like a global dimension shortcuts we can create a shortcut a shortcut dimensions as well so that we will see later so let us see how to create a dimension first okay instead of just simply discussing like this let us see how to create a dimension first so uh, let us create uh, let us uh, have a scenario called uh, a company which wants to analyze sales margin for each sales activity as the accounting as you are an accounting manager you must set up a new dimension to meet the requirements so what are the thing which are, we are going to do is what so the name and the new dimension is called activity mm -hmm okay so let us first note down this okay let us see that the new dimension called activity and under furniture uh, i'll be having chairs tables bundles okay and under services i have decoration and repair um, and maintenance okay make sure that uh, we use Indian dimension values as well so we will discuss about all these things later first of all let us see how to create a dimension just open business central so before we proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my channel okay and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please first subscribe here and if you want to join as a member to my channel please consider joining here 
where you'll be getting exclusive access to all the documents and um, the PDF, PPT, whatever I'm discussing in the videos. And you can uh, mail me if you have any queries, if you have any, if you need any su support. So you can mail me to that. Okay. And also you can see that there are a lot of uh, a playlist related to functional consultant and you can see this is for interview questions this is a mini project ideas and you can also see that there is a business central learning path for a technical consultants so if you want to become a techno functional then definitely this will be useful for you and in this business central uh, 365 uh, playlist here you can see how to create a trial version how to access the trial version of business central here okay even though if you don't have your uh, company account or um, school account i have told like how to create a company account or a school account and then you can log into the business central trial version you can get it so watch it here so yes let us just try uh, this is the business central account so just click here and here you can just open you can just search for dimensions okay so you can see here there is a dimension so once if you click dimensions you can see there are already you have various dimensions so if you wanted to create a dimension you have to simply select new okay and in the code you can enter that activity because as we discussed that we have to create a code called activity and under that we'll be creating that okay and we, we can create a code called activity and here you can just create a dimension values here okay so for this code activity okay if you wanted to create a dimension you can go to this dimension here okay you have a dimension here so select here click here select the co activity select the dimension and click dimension values okay so now you have to enter the dimension values for that okay so we can enter the code field you can enter any name here and in the name field i'm just typing furniture okay and um, you can see here that we have dimension value standard heading total begin total end total all these things we will discuss about all these types so first let us simply enter begin total okay and um, and we can go to the new you have another create a new entry you have right so click here new entry and you can select one not one and you can make it as chairs and here it should be standard okay and select new and then you can select one or two give the proper uh, uh, proper numbers here tables and make it a standard and click here new one or three and uh, make it as bundles so dimension value as standard and click new and here you have to give the f another thing okay so uh, the thing is like one or three bundles we have added okay now we have to create uh, uh, so for this like like this we are going to create it and finally in the code we can enter 199 and the dimension value uh, so in the name you can type like furniture uh, furniture total okay furniture and here you can enter total okay and then you can go to action and then here you have to go to function and then you can select indent dimension values 
okay so this function updates the indentation of all the dimension values for the activity all dimension values begins and end with the total matching end total or indented by one level so what happened here is what see i have started here as a begin total okay so all these are indented now so this chair table bundles and um uh, bundles is indented indented under furniture okay and finally the furniture total is here likewise we have to repeat this process for the services okay shall we create the services now so let us start with 200 okay and what is your uh, uh, thing that is services okay so services begin total and then you have to start with 201 okay either you can start from here okay or else let us just try to so this is the one dimension we have created okay let us delete this and if you go back you can see you have an activity filter so you can click here dimension values and you can see here that your um, dimension is created just click new you can start with 200 services okay and in the services we are just making it as a begin total okay and then again click new 201 and you can make it as decoration and this should be standard again 202 and this should be repair and maintenance and this too should be standard and finally you have to go to what um, you can either go to 299 or you can simply uh, simply name it give a different code so this is we are just giving you giving the code for this okay services we are we are going to end the services here so here you have to tell total okay and then go to the actions functions and indent the values so just to give indent value so here you can see that these are the values which are indented and the furniture and the uh, furniture and these two are the values which are indented here so what we have did is here is what we have created the dimension values okay so that is all for the today's video so in the next video we will discuss about what are these dimension values okay why this is begin total what is this uh, begin total what is this heading what is this total what is this end total all these things we will be discussing about it so sorry we have to give like end to um, sorry begin total and this is end total okay and here this is begin total and this is end total okay so we will discuss what all these things and why uh, these things are coming up okay so here you can see it is showing the totaling answers here so in the next video uh, we will discuss about in detail some more detail about these dimension value types what is this and where it is reflected all these things we will we will discuss okay if you have any queries please leave your comments and take care stay safe bye bye